information on our screens now about an investigation ongoing against Stefano Manzi after he rejoined the circuit uh, through turns one and two. But it is Bahattin Sapoglu who, for the moment, holds on to that third position. Anyway, the pair almost touched this time, coming off turn two. Manzi takes the position away in aggressive fashion, and Sapoglu is battered down into fourth place. Yeah, and uh, Sapoglu, he's going to try and come back again, but Schroeder has come right back to Bulaga. There's only two tenths of a second between the race leaders, and you can see Schroeder right there. And watch out for Bahattin Sofoglu again, making that repeat move on. Stefano Manzi investigations, I'm sure, are going to be more than just one now as this duel goes right to the chequered flag. But watch out when they come towards turn 10 for the race-leading duo as well, as Sofoglu responds further back. Van Stralen passing Caracasulo. Oh. Manzi super aggressive on this final lap to get through again on Bahattin Sofoglu. This is brilliant racing for third. Manzi has to be, though, because he doesn't have that top speed. That's why he's trying to, every time Sofoglu comes through, get the bike stopped and then try and get it gassed up as early as you can. And uh, for Manzi, he's doing everything he can. Key moment here for Bahattin Sofoglu as they come onto the back straight for the final time. Strotter right on the tail of Nicolo Bulliger at the front of the field, but Sofoglu that much closer to Manzi. He's going to come from a way back. He's been making this inside pass into turn 10 all Too race deep. long, but he's got a little bit deep. Manzi comes back at him, and that could be exactly what Stefano Manzi now needs to hold on for third position. It's going to be a drag race to the line for first place. It's going to be a drag race to the line for third. If Sofoglu holds on to fourth, that will be his best result yet in the Supersport World Championship. He's going to want to go one better and get up onto the podium. Nicolo Bulliger takes his fifth race victory of the 2023 campaign, holding on from a valiant late effort from Marcel Schrotter. It's a drag race to the line. Bad it's a Foglu has done it. No, it's nothing to choose between them over the line. Manzi just about holds on. Bahattin Safoglu crosses the line in fourth position, but we will have to wait on the outcome of the investigation uh, in that scrap between the two of them. Manzi and Safoglu. Well, I had to hold my breath there coming off the final turn as I waited to find out which of the two of them had got it. They changed the order. The timing screen initially showed Manzi ahead of Sofoglu. My first impression was I thought Sofoglu might have got there. There's only six thousandths of a second between the two of them. Bulliger, Schrotter, Sofoglu, and that is now your confirmed podium. After that second round, I was want this too much because uh, in Aston we had a great pace and I just want to go to podium. We start good this weekend and in the Super Bowl we can make much better, but in the end we finished ninth. In this race I started in ninth position and my target was just the podium. And, but in the race I see I can make more. I try to finish first and try to make some battles. But later on, like uh, last part of the race, I lost some grip and I just try to stay, try to save my position with great battles finally i catch the podium and i'm very happy about, happy about it that's what all of these riders are trained on whenever you see the videos of the onchu brothers safoglu top rack even keenan whenever he's still getting out and getting amongst us it is all about hand-to-hand -hand combat out there you're bar to bar and you're trying to just make your moves any opportunity you get safoglu did that today and he's been rewarded with a podium